Welcome to my channel, Better Health and Food Ideas. Benefits of Vitamin D. Good sources of vitamin D from about late March, early April to the end of September. Most people should be able to make all the vitamin D they need from sunlight. The body creates vitamin D from direct sunlight on the skin when outdoors. But between October and early March we do not make enough vitamin D from sunlight. Vitamin D is also found in a small number of foods. Sources include oily fish, such as salmon, sardines, herring and mackerel, red meat, liver, egg yolks, fortified foods, such as some fat spreads and breakfast cereals. Another source of vitamin D is dietary supplements. In the UK, cow's milk is generally not a good source of vitamin D, because it is not fortified, as it is in some other countries. How much vitamin D do I need? From about late March, early April to the end of September, the majority of people should be able to make all the vitamin D they need from sunlight on their skin. Children from the age of 1 year and adults need 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. This includes pregnant and breastfeeding women, and people at risk of vitamin D deficiency. Babies up to the age of 1 year need 8.5 to 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. A microgram is 1,000 times smaller than a milligram mg. The word microgram is sometimes written with the Greek symbol mu followed by the letter g, mu g. People at risk of vitamin D deficiency. Some people will not make enough vitamin D from sunlight, because they have very little or no sunshine exposure. The Department of Health and Social Care recommends that adults and children over 4 take a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D throughout the year if they are not often outdoors, for example, if they're frail or housebound. Usually wear clothes that cover up most of their skin when outdoors. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, like and share my video.